Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about trigonometric functions of sum and difference of two angles. Okay. Here in this lecture, we will cover all the important formula students. Okay, in this lecture and in the next lecture, we will see the questions based on the formulas which we will discuss today in this lecture. Okay. So be attentive while I am writing all the formulas that will be important from uh, trigonometric chapter. Okay. So the first formula is sin minus x is equals minus sin x. Students, this is the property that states that this is odd function. What odd function is? that if there is a negative sign inside then this sign comes out okay so this is called as odd function and the second formula which is cos minus x is cos x so cos is even function okay students now come to the so these are the formulas where there is a negative sign inside the sign function so we can straightforward uh, take the negative sign outside and put the answer as sin x minus sin x so now we will be we will be discussing some trigonometric function of sum and difference so the third important formula is cos of x plus y so the formula for this students here I will write all the formulas and I will not derive the formulas because uh, it is not of that much importance for you because in the exam you will not be asked to derive the formula but you will be directly asked to do the question based okay so using some formulas so the formula for cos x plus y is cos of x into cos of y minus sin of x into sin of y okay so this is the formula and how to remember this formula when there is a cos and x plus y the sign will be reversed of the sign here okay and so the first two functions will be cos in terms of cos and the last two functions will be sine. so the next formula is cos of x minus y so this is same students but only the sign here changes so it is cos x cos y plus sin x sin y okay the next formula is i hope you all guys know that cos pi by 2 minus x so whenever there is an odd multiple of pi by 2 means 2n plus 1 y by 2 the function changes from cos to sine sine to cos tan to cotangent secant to cosecant similarly so cos pi by 2 minus x will be sine x because pi by 2 minus x it will lie in the first quadrant okay so as i have told you in my previous lectures after school to college okay so in the first quadrant all the trigonometric functions will be positive so it will take sin x so the next trigonometric formula is sin pi by 2 minus x which is so sin pi by 2 minus x as I have told you when there is a odd multiple of pi by 2 so pi by 2 minus x will be cos x because and it is positive because it lies in the first quadrant only students so and in the next formula important formula is sin of x plus y so it is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y students you can see that there is 
very a lot of difference between these two formulas third and formula seven because in place of course here it is sine so whenever sine x plus y is there so sin x the first function will be sin x then cos y plus no sign changes no sign change okay so here is sign was changing sign changed keep not uh, keep that in mind that whenever there is a function of sign of x plus y the sign in the answer will not get changed okay so then another formula is sign of x minus y it is sin x cos y minus cos x sin y so students kindly note down all these formulas then i will arrange this and will further move to another formulas okay now let's start with the formula number 7 so it is cos of pi by 2 plus x which is minus sin x as i have told you when there is an odd multiple of pi by 2 the, there will be function changes to cos to sin and sin to cos and the sin we will check from this after school to college okay so here it is pi by 2 plus x that will lie in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos will be negative so it is minus sin x okay students now the another formula is sin pi by 2 plus x so at pi by 2 the sign will change but it is positive because sign is positive in the second quadrant students i am writing all these formulas uh, here in one video because that it will be of use for you for all the chapter of trigonometric functions okay and the next question, uh, formula is cos pi by pi minus x so at pi the function will not change but in the second quadrant cos is negative so it will be minus cos of x another is sin pi minus x at pi the function will not change but in the second quadrant the function sin is positive so student these are the formulas now let's discuss about another important formula which is tan of x plus y this is very important formula from exam point of view student so i am marking it as a star here so it is tan x plus tan y upon 1 minus tan x tan y okay another formula of tan is tan of x minus y is so the sign will get reversed all the signs tan y 1 plus tan x tan y okay student now let's discuss about an, another formula which are cot of x plus y which is cot x cot y minus 1 upon cot x plus cot y okay similarly there is a formula for cot of x minus y which is cot x cot y the sign will change now and now it is cot y minus cot x okay so please uh, keep a note here that the sign cot y is coming earlier okay so the another formula is of now there are cos 2x this is very important formula another important formula from exam point of view which is cos square x minus sin square x or you can say which is 2 cos square x minus 1 or it is also equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x and it is also equals to 1 minus 10 square x upon 1 plus 10 square x so and this is very important formula which might come in exam okay so you can derive all this formula by using the help of cos square x plus sin square x equal 1 
okay once you know this formula so you can derive all these formulas kindly note all these formulas then i will move further okay students so another formula 18th is sin of 2x it it is equals to 2 sin x cos x or it is also equals to 2 times 10x upon 1 plus 10 square x okay and the formula number 19th is these formula of sin 2x cos 2x tan 2x will be used where the quantity in the tan is given a multiple of 2 so you can use the formula to convert the formula from 2x to x okay so where you will be seeing there is a 2x term inside so these formulas will be very usable there okay now the formula on 3x it is 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x and the formula for same for cos 3x it is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x okay students you can derive this formula with the help of cos 2x plus x then you will use the formula for cos a plus b okay which i have discussed earlier also so i am not uh, proving all the formulas here because at the end of the day you will have to remember all the formulas because nobody gonna ask you the derivation of all the formulas they will ask you the application of these formulas and how you used it so this is a formula of tan 3x which is 3 tan x minus tan cube x upon 1 minus 3 tan square x now the formula number 23 is so the formula of 23 there are four formulas that are relative means a kind of similar to each other okay so these are cos c plus cos d or you can say cos x plus cos y or it equals to cos 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 so you can see students this formula is uh, inverse of the formula which we have discussed 2 cos a to and cos b okay so depending on the situation you will use these formulas now the another formula is cos x minus cos y is minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2 okay in the formula c for this is sin of x plus sin y is equals to 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin into cos x minus y by 2 okay so let me write again here because it is not visible i think x minus y by 2 now the formula d of 23rd is sin x minus sin y which is 2 cos x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 okay students so now we are left with 2 uh, four more formulas let me uh, please note down this then i will erase this okay so now the formula number 24 which is 2 cos x cos y 2 cos a cos b you can say also that cos x plus cos y and plus cos of x minus y second formula here is minus 2 sin x sin y so this formula is inverse of the formulas which i have discussed earlier okay 
So formula C is 2 sin h cos y. Student, these formulas you should heard, learn by your heart because we will use directly these formulas. Okay, so you must know all the formulas which I will be using in subsequent lectures. Okay, so please remember these formulas because it is the very important part of trigonometric functions. So with this our, all the formulas are completed. Okay students, so this video I have made so that you can write down all the formulas in single row. Okay, and that will be very useful for you when you will be revising for the exam prior to exams. Okay, thank you students and please learn these formulas. Happy learning.